Well, speaking of the weather and the rain, it may be relatively light, but the rain continues to fall this morning, filling area waterways. The city's watershed protection department is staying on top of the situation, not taking any chances after all the wet weather we saw last weekend. Daybreak's Tina Shively is out near Williams Creek this morning to tell us what they're doing. Tina. Well, Yvonne, you're right. Rainfall certainly isn't as heavy as what we saw over the weekend. It's coming down steady out here, though. And city crews are out here just making sure everything is okay. They're here at Williamson Creek, keeping an eye at, on what you are looking at right now, Williamson Creek. City crews are monitoring all low water crossings. In fact, switching from spot to spot, just keeping an eye on the water levels in case the rain does pick up, potentially threatening neighborhoods. Just feet from where I'm standing right now, fast moving floods tore up the Oak Hill Youth Sports Association field over the weekend. That caused about $100,000 in damage. Homes were also flooded. Many people waking up Sunday morning to inches of water inside their houses. We're talking about areas in Sunset Valley, places near Eanes Creek on Old Bee Cave Road, all bracing for what could happen if rain does fall as heavy as we saw over the weekend. Now, I'm told if necessary, the crew here on scene will activate the automatic arms on the low water crossing signs here on Joe Tanner Lane just to make sure people don't pass if necessary. But at this point, it's so far so good. Live on Williamson Creek, Tina Shively, KV News Daybreak. Okay, Tina, thanks a lot. We've been